Welcome to this video on assembling your Astron's Dobsonian telescope. Um, here we have the 8 inch Dobsonian and the 12 inch Dobsonian fully assembled. For this video we're going to assemble an 8 inch Dobsonian. Uh, the Dobsonian comes in two boxes. The main box has the telescope tube in and the flat box has the basin which we'll assemble shortly. Inside the main box, open it up, there will be either a small brown box which has the accessories in or for some models the accessories are embedded inside the polystyrene packaging. Inside the box is two eyepieces, a 13mm super view, a 9mm plus eyepiece, we'll do close ups of those, a battery pack for the fan which we'll talk about later on and a 35mm extension tube. Also in the box is your finder scope and standard comes with an 8x50 finder, which comes with the base, the bracket, and the tube. Or well, some people may as an option have ordered the 8x50 right angle finder, which is in a square box like that. And also in the box will be two small boxes like this, which have inside the tension knobs for the side of the telescope. And there are two of those. So our first stage is to assemble the base. So we'll put the tube out of the way for now. Back to him. Inside our base box. Open up. The main part there are three panels. The two sides in the back. There is two big circular panels, which is the bottom of the base. the roller bearing and its associated plates and the handle for the back of the telescope base and the fixings which will be a big knob like that, screw like that and all the fixings are in a bag also is the uh, eyepiece holder which can be affixed to the side of the telescope at the end we'll talk about that later the tools you'll need for assembly is just a standard Phillips screwdriver and a small allen key which is included in the uh, box. So if, once we've unpacked everything we're going to start off with the two flat bases. We're going to, the first one we use is the one with the lock nut in. We're going to put the lock nut um, at the same side as the feet are going to be attached. So in the box are three feet, look like that, and three screws like that. And attach each one with the Phillips screwdriver to screw in and there are pilot holes already marked inside the base. So that's our feet on. Then we'll use the other side and we're going to attach the um, two side panels and the back panel in that order first of all. You'll notice that the um, there are recesses inside the countersink for the screws. So it's these big black screws that we'll be using for that and for that the tool we'll use is the little allen key that's in the packet.
So in the 8 inch model, there are 4 screws through. In some of the larger models, like the 12 inch, there is an additional 2 for the, that go through there for the uh, base. Uh, for the back of the mount. For this one, so we're going to slide the back of the base in between to fit in those, in those two side holes. But be careful that the lock nuts there are on the inside. So it's that way round. and we can fully tighten at the bottom. Like so. Back to the bottom. So what we're going to do is we're going to put the small tube like that, goes in the middle, slots in. Over top of that sits the roller bearing, which consists of the two plates with the roller bearing in the middle, like so. So we're going to slide that over top, and sits in. The base slides in to fit over the tube, like that. So it's just smoothly on the bearing. And then we're going to want the tension knob. We have a small washer, a large washer, and a roller bearing washer. So all I'm going to put to is the big washer at the bottom, the roller bearing one in the middle, and the small washer at the top. So it goes into that order into the middle. And that just goes down. The knob screws in, and the tightness of that gives a bit of tension for your azimuth spin. Like that. So when you're viewing, if you need to put a little bit tight, bit more tension, you can add tension to it, depending on how free you want the movement for that. And we can add, lastly, we can add the handle to the back of the base. To the back of the base there. Two screws like that. And our base is fully assembled. Lastly, as an option, you can add the uh, eyepiece holder to the side of the mount. In this box, it attaches like that. The fixings will be in the box and it just screws onto the side of the mount like that. Not everyone installs the eyepiece holder, it's purely your if, option if you want to use it. Uh, and then our base is fully assembled. So we'll put that to the side for a minute and get our tube out of the box. So back to our main box. Take the polystyrene packaging out. Now, we find it's useful to keep the box and the packaging for when you're transporting the telescope. It's the best way to do it. The tube comes out. And we've got the two small boxes that have the tension knobs on. Tension handles like that. The screws are already in the side of the base. Take the screws out. You'll notice there is a, uh, I find it easiest to do this with the telescope vertical like this. And you notice there is a slot for the go for. We normally put it in to start off with as centered. 
But if you want to change the balance point in your telescope later on, you can just adjust the handles on that slot. Just make sure that even on both sides. So, centre it like that and tighten. Once the tension knob's on, we can loosen it off and we can insert the tube into the telescope base. So, bring back our telescope base. And the two D-shaped handles are going to slide into the base like that. Okay, slide in, tilt it over, and tighten the tension knobs. Lastly, all we have to add is our finder scope. So here's a straight through 8x50 finder, which comes standard with the telescope. In the box is the uh, bracket with the O-ring. And the other box is the telescope, is the finder tube. Slide the O-ring over the end into the little groove and at the other end the bracket goes on with the screws towards the eyepiece end. The, this end is a, this knob is a spring and the other two are screws which we can take back. And is so spring out and so it goes onto the o-ring let the spring go and you can adjust the screws to center it our other video on using a telescope will give more information on aligning that up the finder scope just slides into the base of the finder into the telescope tighten that up and your dobson in telescope is fully assembled. Alternatively, if you order the right angle 8x50 finder in the box, it will be all ready to go. Take it out, look like that. You can slide the finder again straight into our telescope, like that. And your telescope is now fully assembled. For some tips and more information about using your telescope, um, see our separate video.